Hello, my name is Bryce Heventhal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In this Quick Tips video, I will be discussing how to create new symbols for a 2D schematic by modifying an existing symbol in the SOLIDWORKS electrical database. The best method for creating a new symbol is to find a similar one, copy and paste that symbol, and modify it to suit your needs. And that is the method we are going to be doing today. We are going to be creating an energy meter that measures kilowatt hours like the meter on the back of your house that measures your energy usage. So first thing, I've already opened up SOLIDWORKS Electrical and we're going to go over to our library tab and we'll go ahead and open up our symbols manager. Here's a list of all of our different symbols that we have that are broken up into certain classifications. I've already selected the measurement devices and we're going to go ahead and find a measurement device that is similar to the one we are creating such as this energy meter. So I'm going to right click and go to copy and then I'll click out in this empty space and right click and paste. So let's put it right here. So we're going to go ahead and rename it. And the naming convention is the same except they add the plus one. So we're going to go ahead and rename this as TR-IND010 and hit OK. When we go right click in properties this time, it'll go and update this symbol name already. So most of this information is exactly the same as the energy meter previously, except we're going to change this description. We're going to change it to kilowatt hour energy meter. So we're done with editing the symbol property, so we could just go ahead and click OK. Since it's ordered in alphabetical order, we have to refine where it is, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and double click it, and it's going to open up a DWG file. This is fully editable, so we're going to go in ahead and edit this text right here. So just double click it, and we could come in here to the text and edit this. So we'll put a little K for kilowatt hours. And you could also edit the inf other information as the size of it, but we're going to leave that as is. So we're going to hit close, and we'll position this so it's a little more center. All this other information is metadata that is pulled from the manufacturer that we can go ahead and customize or move around, but I'm going to leave it as is for right now. So we'll go ahead and close this DWG file, and we'll save the changes. So now when we go back to our Symbols Manager, we could find that our kilowatt energy meter has been updated, and we can import that into our schematic. This has been Bryce Hementhal with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this Quick Tips video from SolidWorks Electrical.